where is Haiti now compared to where it was before? Depends on who you speak to, but it doesn't, I mean, it's pretty much, look, it's pretty much the same, mm -hmm. right? And obviously it's, it's better in the sense of like, um, I think people are really trying. Um, Sean Penn organization and my other friend Paul Haggis, who directed the movie Crash, they have their organization and, you know, they've done a lot of work, but you can't build a country on charity. You can't yeah. build a country where every year you're asking people to donate money. Right, it has to be built on industry. It has to be able to be sustainable. Yeah. And that's job creation, innovation, right? Investments. But the problem is when you have massive corruption, look, every government on this planet, including this very government here, is corrupted. But there's different level of corruptions. There's the corruption where, like, we're here in Beverly Hills. We know California's corrupted, the government, but it functions. <laughs> you know, roads get done, you know, they come pick up the garbage, you know, school system, the curriculum, it functions. When you start talking about like Haiti and third world countries or emerging countries in Africa, you know, the corruption is blatantly like the guy would go and build him a mansion when before you never had a mansion. Now you're the president, all of a sudden you have a mansion? That's blatantly corruption or your family are not buying companies or own telecommunications it's like dude at least do it after the presidency is over right. you know so with that being said there's a lot of hesitant from the international community to come in and do anything right because they're worried that their investment's not going to pay off right that it's all going to fall apart the government's going to seize whatever. I mean, you saw it happen in Cuba. You see it happen in Russia. You yeah. see it happen in China. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? What is it about, as a Haitian person, what is it about hip-hop's fascination with Haitians? Like they're dinosaurs or something. You know? Like songs like, I came looking for you with Haitians. Like, <laughs> you know, it's so what, funny. What makes Haitians so scary to everyone else? It's not that scary. I just think... Subliminally, Haiti is the first black republic. And whether you know the history or not, when you Haitian, you wear that. Like, you know, look, I was born in America, obviously, and I grew up around every white blacks, whatever. But when we talk about black Americans, slavery to us is not the same way as it is to black Americans, because we never really witnessed slavery. As a matter of fact, the Haitian came and helped during the Civil War. That's why if you go to Georgia Savannah, there are statues of Haitians because they helped out with the war. In New Orleans, if you go to New Orleans and you speak to people, they got that whole Creole movement, whatever. They don't even understand why there's a Creole movement. They don't understand it's because the Haitians came in during the 18th century to help out. Because the French had owned the Louisiana Purchase at that time, the 21 states, and they settled in and they bought their culture. You know, they don't even understand that. So, and then Miami, obviously, I guess, plays a big role, right? When you look at the rappers and the hip hoppers that really, that grew up around Haitian, that embrace Haitian and embrace the culture, they help to make it this thing. You know, it's like, it's just this thing, like, everybody kind of like rep. Right. Haitians when you're talking about hip-hop, you know? Right, and you also have, like, the Zoe Pound and everything else. Yeah, the like Zoe Pound. Obviously, we, uh, listen, I think we started it, obviously, as the pioneers, you know, putting Haiti on the map globally. Mm -hmm. And then you had all the generation that came after us that kind of, like, ran with it and did their thing, you know? you Big up to all the hip-hop acts that always represent Haiti, you know? Right. Whether it be Rick Ross to Future to whomever. Yeah.